Today we will be joined by a business owner who is not directly running a towing company nor is directly related to the towing industry. There are no others which help him do the work he does. He does speak extensively to his clients before performing his work. Usually he nails their vision the first time. We were made aware of this company by the company's oldest client, as in time, having been with, not age-wise. Mo Timko of the National Toll List made us aware of this company's recent plight. We thought we should do an exclusive based on the information Mo provided. We will list all of his current client base in our YouTube channel in the video's description. That list will show you, in fact, he does do a lot for the industry in his own way. Now joining us via telephone is Tim Liu, owner of Cloak & Dagger Designs, where the intrigue and mystery of design is revealed. Afternoon, Tim. How are you today? Busy, but I have a lull in my uh, wait time right now, so this is a good time to uh, get together and do this. We heard through our investigation that you do not have any experience in performing as a tow operator. Is that true? No, that's not true at all. Um, between 2000, uh, September of 2011 to September of 2012, I was a tow operator for billboard towing out of Skycomish, Washington. Skycomish is approximately 16 miles from the top of Snoqualmie, pa or excuse me, um, Stevens Pass, one of the most treacherous uh, passes in the United States. It has 16 avalanche areas through uh, the uh, Stevens Pass area, and I worked at uh, one winter and one, you know, one full season from September to September, and uh, it was quite an experience, uh, especially uh, when it got a little icy and a little deep. But yeah, I do have the uh, operator experience, and I don't know where you heard that from, but. Uh, some people just need to get their facts straight. What experience, besides what you have done for so many others, gives you your qualifications to do what you do? Well, I actually have a college degree in graphic design. Um, I attended ITT Tech out of Everett, Washington um, for two years, got my associate's degree, um, and I do a lot of other work for other people, uh, other designers. Um, I have a friend, a uh, former classmate, uh, that comes to me for 3D design work uh, on occasion. And uh, it's just not the experience. It's just like towing. You get experience from doing the job. And I've been doing this for my entire life, but I just waited till I was 47 to get to uh, get my degree and uh, do it professionally. Who inspired you to do graphic and website design? Well, my mom and dad always uh, inspired me when I was young. Um, I remember going to my mom quite a few times when I was a kid. Mom, what do you want me to draw? and she would give me something to draw and I'd do it. Um, but later in life, it's been, um, I would have to say it all happened uh, two days before my 49th birthday. Um, it was the day that my sister uh, passed away from uh, cancer. She passed away uh, around 6.30 a.m. on the 23rd of October, 2012. And it was later that day that I was rummaging through some stuff, and I found an envelope with my name on it in her handwriting. And the note inside said, don't, don't do anything that you don't want to do, and do everything that you love to do. And she told me, you know, you've, you've enjoyed doing design your whole life, and you need to pursue that because I see what the wonderful work you've done and you've continued doing. And so she's, 
she's a big uh, inspiration and uh, behind all my design. Do you only do graphic and website design? No, I don't do just graphic and web uh, website design. As I said, I do do uh, 3D modeling and 3D design um, of the 3D stuff that I've done for my current clients is um, the National Tow List's uh, mascot is a flatbed called Natalie um, and the initials NTL are within her name. Um, I've done the mascot for Tow Truck Mafia. It's a uh, older Model T pickup. Um, I think it's a 1913 Model T pickup that's got a uh, sling in the back and uh, when it opens one of the side boxes uh, in the back of the truck and on the underneath the running boards open up it comes out as uh, machine guns uh, gatling guns to be precise um, but you know i do a lot of all types of design um, i try to stay away from 3d animation with characters because it is really difficult to do all the uh, all the uh, um, connections to the bones and everything to make sure that a character moves correctly. How comparable are your prices to another company who is run by one individual? I actually think, think my prices are a lot, lot less than a lot of other places. I know that uh, Supermedia and YP.com, they charge a monthly fee ranging from 30 to $80 a month. And by the end of the year, you're spending oh, well over 800 bucks. Um, I charge a flat fee of 270, uh, 270 $171.75 after uh, sales tax. Um, the base price is 250 uh, You get a basic website. Um, you get unlimited emails, you get a logo creation or recreation if you have a logo and it needs to be updated. I create the logo in Vector uh, to finalize it, but uh, I do all the preliminary logo creation in Photoshop. Um, Illustrator is more for print design and, and that's where I put the final designs because a lot of people will want to use them not only on the web but on um, other items like business cards and stationery and stuff like that. Um, I charge for other services individually such as um, uh, graphic design, 3D modeling, you know, um, people would be just best to go to my website and uh, look at uh, previous jobs that I've done and different different types of design I've done and my prices. We heard that you are wanting to expand your business but are having some financial issues. You care to let those listening in on this information? Yeah, um, recently my parents have decided to have uh, go through with a legal separation and my dad will be 78 here in a couple days and uh, he's uh, on oxygen 24 7 he's in the last stages of COPD and he has a hard time uh, keeping track of his medications and uh, doing things that he's supposed to do to keep his health going and um, because of this separation um, dad has volunteered to move out and my older brother and younger brother both agree that he wouldn't make it by himself and uh, in a assisted living or um, an old a regular old folks home and I had asked my uh, siblings if uh, they would mind if I could move in with him and take care of him and kind of help uh, with his daily life of you know ordering medication make sure he does his nebulizers and stuff like that and but in order for me to do that I need to expand and be more self-sufficient because I don't want to live off of his income, um, which is a military pension and a work pension and retirement. Um, I don't want to do that, and my, my siblings agree that that wouldn't be right. So um, I've been wanting to get into a proven market that uh, right now that is uh, exploding, and there is 
not only local places here in my area of Spokane County that can use this service, but there are events such, the, such as the Spokane County Interstate Fair in September. It runs two weeks or ten days, I think it is now. And I can have a booth out there and uh, for, all, for that entire time and make up any loans that I might have against the business or um, I estimate that I could easily walk away from just a fare alone with uh, well over uh, $5,000 for the 10 days. Um, that, But getting the equipment to do that is what has been um, has been stopping me from getting the expansion and doing this. Uh, right now I'm looking for investors. Anybody that wants to invest $100 or whatever they want to invest, they will get 50% return over the course of the next year, 12 months or less. Um, they will have the option of either getting product in return or product and um, repayment of partial funds or entire repayment of uh, part of the funds. Um, if they would like to help me in this and help me, it's basically to help take care of my dad and uh, take care of my 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 personal uh, debts as well as being able to live with my dad and take care of him um, without having to leave for eight ten hours a day on another job and come home and find him lying on the floor um, you know it's it's something that I feel is what he needs because I don't think he'll last very long anywhere else without family nearby um, but if anybody wants to contribute or donate or whatever, finance, uh, invest, whatever you want to call it, they can get a hold of me through my website or through the Facebook page, and uh, we'll go from there. And I'll go into more depth, and we will sign a contract. I do ask that we sign a contract so everything's clear and there's no um, second-guessing of what we said. Um, so, yeah. What does your family think of your career choice? Uh, you kind of heard a little bit about what my sister thought. Um, my mom is all for it. She loves the design that I do. My dad, he actually helps me with some of the design that doesn't involve the computer. And, uh, he, and you know, reverting back to your last question, you know, he it keeps his mind active uh, of helping me do that. He would he would be able to keep his mind active to help me do uh, this part of the expansion that I want to do and that's what the doctor says that he needs to keep his mind active and so I think dad would benefit a lot from that as well um, my older brother he's seen it he's seen my design work and so has my younger brother um, they they both support me in what I do it's just it's not enough to do what I want to do with my dad and take care of him. What do you charge for your services? Well, it depends upon what service you want. If you want a complete website service package and marketing package, it's 250 plus Washington State sales tax. I have to charge the tax because I live in Washington State and I'm making an internet sale. Um, as of, I think, January 2014, all internet sales from Washington State companies have to include sales tax. Um, but uh, they range from ten dollars to as high as five hundred dollars. Um, the more expensive, the five hundred dollar area is fully customized website, full marketing package, the whole nine yards, plus an e-commerce area where they can sell items. And what I do is I go in, list their products, give prices, hook it up so they can their customers can pay online and they get all the information including um, how much they paid what their services uh, they were wanting and everything else now concerning your clients who have you done websites and or graphics for if you can get a little background for each of the company well there is quite a few and yeah I can 
for the exception of the companies that are related to the towing industry, I think it best not to give the descriptions because tow-related companies should be self-explanatory of what they do. Uh, the first one, uh, no particular order here, just uh, going by what, what I remember. Um, immaculate, a Immaculate Auto Detail Serving uh, serves the greater Snohomish County in Washington State. They provide a mobile auto detailing service. Um, their list of clients include the Tulalip uh, tribes, Native American tribes, um, B&W Towing LLC, uh, Chubby's on Wheels. It's located near Peters Park in Boston. They are a hot dog vendor service co-owned by a police officer who was injured on the job and now retired. Uh, Dagger Media and Entertainment LLC um, is co-owned by me and a former classmate of mine. Uh, we target towards uh, independent game creators. Um, we review and most times play indie games which were or will be released uh, recently. Uh, Haley's Automotive, Haley's Towing Incorporated, uh, Handyman of Vegas. It's owned by a gentleman who also own, co-owns Cedar Village Motel and RV, another one of our clients. He does home repairs in and around Las Vegas during the summer months and helps his mom run the motel during the winter. Uh, Horde Killers, Inc. It's an alliance guild on the Proudmore server of World of Warcraft. Um, for those that like to play World of Warcraft, they know what I'm talking about. Those that don't, um, probably doesn't even, they've only probably heard the word World of Warcraft. Uh, no Limits Towing out of Delaware. Um, respect Tow Truck Operators. Uh, respect Tow Truck Operators Decals, which is a division of uh, Respect Tow Truck Operators. Um, respect Tow Truck Operators Gear. It's another smaller division of uh, respective to operators, which is used to order printed products such as what is designed by m my company, but printed by an, by other companies. Um, reflective prints is owned by a single mom of two uh, pre-K children. The business was her and her husband's dream, but in February 2013, her husband was killed in Af uh, killed in action in Afghanistan. Uh, she tries to make every attempt to keep her and her husband's dream alive. She prints reflective designs. Um, her first client since her husband's death is Respecto Truck Operators. She requires a minimum of 50 shirts of same design before she prints. Um, recently, during the printing of a design for Respecto Truck Operators, her auto press broke down and is currently waiting for parts from Japan to continue. She's a pretty headstrong woman. She knows what she wants to do and uh, to honor the memory of her husband. Uh, from what I from what I understand, she is currently teaching a little of the business to her four-year-old, which really likes design. Um, socials marketing is something new, and I really can't go into the details at this time. Um, all I can say is for any new updates of what I'm doing is just to watch my Facebook page, uh, my business Facebook page. Towware is another one. Uh, they offer safety gear to all who need it, just not in the towing uh, industry. They carry uh, ANSI Class 2 and 3 safety wear, including vests, shirts, coats, and jackets. <laughs> um, they have nine warehouses across the U.S. to ship your order from. Uh, you usually get your order within three to four business days. Uh, they guarantee their prices to be the lowest for the same brands if you and if you can find any company which sells the same brand as they do for less, then you contact them and they usually beat their competitors' prices by at least 5%. Uh, Wicked Designs, uh, they do decals and screen prints of tribal artwork. Um, a and uh, excuse me, A&J Towing of Stanwood, uh, Buford Motorsports Towing, Bungalow Bar Ice Cream Truck. I have never heard of this bungalow bar ice cream before until this gentleman came to me and wanted a website. Um, it's owned by a retired individual who operates the business primarily within Long Island. Uh, some people from that area may remember the company of the same name selling their ice cream bars. Uh, this guy took an old truck of theirs and then has had it restored to its nearly prime condition with a few modern adjustments. Uh, people can go to his website and have him come out to parties, weddings, or whatever they have going on. Um, Campbell's Towing 
It's given Campbell's 24-hour uh, towing and recovery, um, Cedar Village Motel and RV. Um, it's owned uh, by a family, a small, it's Cedar Village Motel and RV. That's the one I spoke of earlier. It's a small family-owned and operated motel and RV park near Spokane International Airport, just out of sight of uh, Spokane, Washington. It's been owned by the current owner since 1976. Um, Hayford Community Church, small church outside of Airway Heights, mostly of those over 55 attend. Um, the pastor of that church um, did the memorial for my sister and uh, decided to maybe uh, market them a little bit to have various ages uh, attend the church and have their church grow a little bit. Um, JLC Golden Coin, it's a small uh, golden coin shop in Wilmington, Ohio. Um, respect tow truck operators, uh, one of my bigger clients. Uh, United Tow Truck Operators is another one. Uh, Wilkes 24-hour towing um, outside of Riverhead, New York. Um, and the last one is Trailer Hitcher. Uh, this is a product and a child company of Wayne Russell Incorporated. Uh, this product allows a person to hook up their trailer without the need of a second person guiding them. It's nearly a foolproof system. I've seen it in action and in it's, it's so easy to hook up to a trailer without anybody there. All you got to know is the center area of your back side of your vehicle and you can hook up anything. Uh, they have sold uh, countless pieces and are hoping to sell many more. Uh, the company is currently owned by a married couple who are in their 90s and they will be handing the business over to their son in the coming year. Um, they're um, Due to that, and that's due to primarily health issues, and uh, not so much their age, but their health. Wow, that is a lot of companies. Well, we know that you are busy and currently working on a website and graphics for a current client, and wish not to keep you any longer than we have to. Is there anything else you would like to add before we let you continue for your day? No. It, it's like I said, if you want to invest, you know, come on over to my Facebook page, Cloak and Dagger Designs. Uh, you can go to any of those pages that I mentioned. Uh, they have liked my business page, and you can find them through there, or you can just do a Facebook search. Um, I'd be more than happy to answer any more questions concerning investing. Um, if you need a website and you don't currently have one, um, that price of 250 covers everything. Um, but if you do own a website and you want somebody else to manage it, um, I'll deduct fifteen dollars off of the two fifty for a total of two thirty five, um, because the two fifty covers a domain name and all the work I invest in creating your website and everything. So, but since you already have your domain, I I'll, I'll uh, make it two thirty five, um, and if you can find anybody cheaper than that. And let me know because that price of two fifty or two thirty five, if you have your own domain, is good for the entire year. You don't have no monthly fees or anything. The only thing extra you would pay is update fees after the first thirty days, and that's twenty five dollars an hour. Um, every year thereafter that you're with me, it's eighty dollars a month, and um, a new integration into the business will cost a little bit more up to ten dollars a month but it will be well worth it if your company is busy uh, too busy to maintain this area of the website and other areas so if you need me you know go to my Facebook page my phone numbers on there you can uh, look uh, my websites on there just go take a look and if you're impressed leave a comment if you need a job done message a page or email us at uh, designers at cloak and dagger designs dot com and that's the letter n not the word and so it's cloak the letter n dagger designs dot com so yeah that's that's all i have well thank you and now we'll let you get back to your work